Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. How is everybody doing? It is 10 a.m. on the spot. What a timing. I actually wasn't planning for 10 a.m. on spot for Phoenix, Arizona. Good old USA, I always say. Hey, what a start, huh? Right on time. And night, day, play in Twitch. Thank you very much for stopping by, and we'll see you later after your ranking games. How's everybody doing? It is June 28th, going towards July, and it's hot out there in Phoenix. It's so hot. I mean, really, really hot. And Monday, 2021. Monday. All right. I'm going to do some talking today first. It's going to take some time. And then we jump into the games. Yesterday, I was an engineer for five hours, which I don't play engineer or other classes in Warface Gaming. That's what I play these days. As you can see, the uh, transitions and my hat is a war face. I like to dedicate it to this game at this point. And I have actually a few things to say about it today. Not uh, against the uh, game, but uh, some other stuff. So let's get to the talking points by opening my uh, little notepad here. There's so many things to talk about, I cannot memorize them all. First of all, I would like to tell you something about that uh, video I, I posted on Discord yesterday. Um, yeah, I had really good games, five hours, old engineer class. I tried you know vari variety of uh, weapons. And the, dif the difference between riflemen and other classes are pretty much obvious. In engineer, you have the high rate uh, weapons, and in uh, medic class, you have shotguns, very powerful, and rifle, what you call a sniping snipers, sniper class, you have the sniper rifles, very very powerful. All those items, you know, all those classes, you don't have to hit head per se, you know, necessarily. It's good always to hit head. But your weapons are already powerful. You don't have you don't really have to have the, like a high high level the la latest models. They're by nature their weapons are powerful. They are disadvantages obviously you know some of them only one shot and now you have to crank it like a sniper rifle. Um, the other ones you have to get closer, cannot kill them from far. But again, they are they are very powerful. So I played the engineer and I had the, this very powerful uh, gun in my hands. Apparently uh, one of the most powerful uh, for engineer class. And I was just testing it and I, I it was a nice game. Ended with the, uh, I think 40 kills or something like that, I forgot. Whatever it is. But I was shooting and uh, I was killing people just hitting the you know, bodies. And I uh, put that little clip I made to a, to a discord as well and then there's i think i believe one person answered um now i'm going to show that clip to you very very quick without sound and we're going to just count the you know how many headshots we had and all that it's it's don't worry it's not a big deal it's, it's just a very short clip let me find it first It is one minute and 52 seconds, but I'm not going to just, you know, I'm not going to run it. We can just talk about it slowly. Mm, that's not the one. Yes, it is. Um, AMG, oh, AMB, sorry, AMB 17, the gun. All right. Um, this is your heat AMB 17, and I'm running a what you call a is uh, is a, a uh, engineer. That was yesterday. Now first two kills. Let me see. It's not showing here. It's a body shot right here. 
second kill, body shot, two body shots. Now, let's let's go for, further. Same gun. Now, AMB-17 apparently is a very, very, you know, powerful gun. High rate. And then second one, headshot. So the third one is headshot. Fourth one is not. So we get one out of three. Now we're going to keep going. Body shot, headshot. So body shot, headshot. Now keep going. Body shot, headshot, body shot, headshot. See what I'm saying? So if you don't if you don't watch the whole thing, it's only one minute and fifty. If you if you watch the first two, you know, kills, your comment will be something like Let me see if I can find it. Your comments will be something like this. Now I am not sure if this guy was commenting on my, but it was right after mine, right here. IGN Naim Wuka. Jesus Christ, aim for some headshots. I was laughing. If this guy is really, you know, commenting on my, uh, you know, he probably watched the first two kills and then just turned it off. I actually checked his, uh, you know, he's he is okay guy. He looks nice, you know, he's not he's not like trolling. He's he's just you know put something in there. Uh, I don't know what IGN means as uh, Naim Hookah. Jesus Christ, aim for some headshots. Now, the the, the, the the topic line here, when I put it, I said, keep the dot on the model, you'll be just fine. Because someone told me that in the game. Someone told me that in the game. He says, keep the dot on the model, and you'll just, you'll just fine. If you read that, keep the dot on the model, you'll be just fine. And... If you watch the first two kills, you will come up with this conclusion. Jesus Christ, aim for the headshots. Now, here's, here's the deal. In some of the games, actually half of the games, half of the matches, I'm pretty darn good. Even for a rifleman, uh, hitting the head, headshots. There's one guy yesterday, two days ago, I think. This guy played sniper. Sniper. Shooting with a sniper rifle, okay. He, he's a sniper rifle kill 57, 57, and then only five headshots. You know, this is more embarrassing than actually engineer. If you have a sniper rifle, you know, five headshot kills out of 57. And it smells like a kind of yeah, aim, aim assist, aim, aim butt, aim whatever, hack. But that's it, 57 kills and five headshots. If, if that guy give the uh, comment to my video, see this one, level 90 snipe, sniper rifle, and 57 kills with five headshots. Now you're gonna say, hey, it doesn't really matter. Sniper rifles are very, very powerful. You hit the, you know, uh, your big toe, you will die. And I'm gonna give you one more sample. This is another game, I think it was yesterday. I don't know when was it, I forgot. 34 kills, 22 headshots. So I am doing a good job about the headshots. But uh, that guy, here's what happens. In, in this court, unfortunately, it's like that because there's way too many people and most of them young people and they're like, you know, they just want to be, just want to, they just want to do something, say something. And that's why I don't want to put too many things in this court because I don't want to just embarrass myself with the things I didn't do. And people think like, I'm a, I'm a, you will you will not even look at the video at this point you will just read the comment and you will go with that you will read you will read the comment you won't you won't look at my video and you're gonna say hey night time is just shooting the bodies and the you know, headshots so sad but that's what it is so it's it's the life in discord i should say it's the life in discord in general that's why i don't have a discord channel and i don't I only like to go to Warface because I play Warface and keep kind of communication there. I'm going back and forth. 
I don't believe in Discord at all, per se, as a uh, communication device. Only if you play games, team games, and want to communicate in game, you know, voice, then it's a good tool. But as a, as a, as a, uh, you know, socializing, you know, getting together and doing something, that's not, that's Discord is kind of garbage. Just like, you know, t uh, Twitter, Twitter too. You're there for one and one reason only, just like Discord. You want to, you want to um, promote your, yourself. End, end of story. You are in the public for one reason and one reason only, promote yourself. The rest is really garbage and you don't really care. If somebody puts something they're good, and if you're a punk, you, you won't care. As a matter of fact, you will troll just for fun. Now, I'm not calling that guy troll because I don't know him. Uh, so I don't care. <clears throat> now let's talk about Warface, pay to win, and money hungry, my dot games, etc., and so forth. This subject is, uh, you know, all over the place since the game started, I think. Pay to win. I, I made so many videos up there, so many videos showing that it's not pay to win. It's uh, how good you are and how good, how good you can aim and shoot. I'm not saying I'm a better, better shooter or whatever. I'm just saying in general, first person shooter, if you want to be better player and if you want to kill you, you just practice a lot you play the game and then you shoot in the head just like the guy was saying you'll be you'll do just fine with almost any weapons well let's start number one it's a free game number one it's a free game you don't pay like a uh, call of duty 60 bucks Sometimes they want, you know, on sale, $40 or whatever. If you have a gift certificate, maybe like $40, $30. But you pay money to play. And then you buy stuff in the game anyway, right? So number one, it's free, Warface. Number two, they do make changes. User interface, weapons, seasons, events, other things. And they do spend time to do all that stuff. And time means money. They spend money for the game, enhancing the game and changing the game, doing all that good stuff. They are doing all those enhancements not to give things more things free. Trust me. They are not doing all that user interface changes. They are not doing all the seasons. They are not doing all the other stuff to give more things free. Number three, when there is a challenge or some sort, like a... Uh, ranking games for example there are rules you cannot use everything you want there are rules that you can use these weapons you can use these uh, you know uh, what you call a uh, um, outfit gear so there are rules to make things you know even you cannot just jump in with your you know latest everything they, they have rules they have rules so that's that's good thing you know they they unless if you if you are doing the uh, matching you know if you're doing the uh, challenge the uh, events for yourself hey you know we're gonna we're gonna uh, play with these guys you're gonna play with this uh, clan let's create this uh, custom you know room then you can put your own rule but you know if you want you can just go with everything you want then the better weapons uh team with the better weapons oh, obviously have more advantage but it's not up to game it's up to you because you're creating the uh, match if you are grinding and try to get higher levels or win games versus other clans or randoms that's what i was saying now and you think if someone getting a better weapon or gear you should too why not me he has it i want to have the same thing which uh um, if you do have uh, all the most powerful weapons and the best gear, uh, trust me, things will be boring. So you have all the most powerful weapons, all the most powerful gears, um, shields or whatever, and then you start you start to play just like I did yesterday. 
and you start to play with other people and you kill everybody with one shot you're running around you're killing everybody and then it becomes really boring you go you don't have any challenge anymore you are top level player or even that you, you, you're not top level player but you have the top level stuff and after that you're gonna, you're gonna look for some more stuff you know to challenge you you have everything the best everything most powerful everything it gets boring that's another thing actually you should uh, consider you'll be unbeatable you're gonna be crushing everybody and you'll be like yeah enough let's go some play something something else so if you have everything you know top level it might get a little boring afterwards other facts with this game and similar online games number one number one it will never be real-time communication with online games especially first-person shooter no matter what you do one side or some players will take advantage over others because of the uh, uh, pinging latency and all that stuff there's always one team or one you know few person for you people will take advantage of that and sometimes you will take the turn that's how it goes online game did never ever ever it's not like a land local area network it's not like a land one side always will take advantage and you will think sometimes the people are actually cheating like a wall hack whatever but most of the time the wall hacks and other stuff most of the time not all of the time like you turn the corner you're behind the wall now and then the guy shoots you and then you say hey he's hacking that's not the, that's not the case in his screen he shot and killed you before you went behind the wall in your screen you're already dead before you go in you know behind the wall but you don't you don't know that that's called the latency pinging and that's never going to be fixed it will never be fixed unless if there's a uh, something invented that uh, everything is real time it's like a faster than light speed communication or so i don't know what it is number two it's not only how powerful your weapons or how strong your gears are but how you shoot and how you, how much do you know about the map these are those are the facts by you know for the uh, warface game or similar first person shooter games there is never be real-time communication and number two it's not only having powerful gears and powerful everything it's how you shoot and how much you know about the map if you go watch some of the professional players playing the ranking game here's what they do they run they find a little a crack a little crack that you cannot see it but they can because they know where it is they zoom in hard scope it and wait that's knowing the map and after that you have to be really uh talented to be able to when you see someone that that moment you have to you know pull the trigger see you know it's it doesn't matter what gun you had you have at the, at the point you will kill that person anyway especially sniper rifles as two facts you cannot pass through if you cannot you'll go nuts because most of the games are little because most of the gamers are literally kids children they won't understand the business side of things and they won't care about business side of things they always will want everything free at all times that's that's also true by the way most of the uh, you know if you go to a discord right now the age group probably i don't know 15 overall and then most of them have have no idea about how the you know companies make money how you earn money how you do no idea they just want everything free because hey that guy has it i want to have it too that's the attitude just like your kids you know brothers and sisters in, in home is the same thing hey, my brother have that i want to have the same thing yeah but you have to take out the garbage five times a week your brother took your gar the garbage out five times a week and you have to do the same thing before you get the uh that thing so they are kids most of them so other hand those who can uh, the, the thing is if you see something like a other guy has latest weapon or whatever or latest gear and you don't have it you don't have money hey you know what why are you making me buy all those stuff don't buy it 
if you cannot afford it, don't buy it. First of all, someone in your team will have all those weapons because they they can't afford it and they buy all this stuff. So it's a team game. If you jump into a fight, if you contribute to your team and your team wins, that's all matters. Unless if you want to be always on top of the list, then if you cannot afford, and if you want to be top of the list, then work on your skills. That's what I'm saying. I think those are fact things too. And when you when you go into match, if you random you know match the game, adjust and they actually, the game is actually a pretty good balancing team. It's pretty good. I witnessed this all the time. The balancing the teams um by numbers actually using the stats and all this stuff is very good sometimes we start and then we you know we kill like a we're over like 20 kills 30 kills whatever in team that match and all of a sudden some people leave or they've been kicked out from other team the new people come in the game to the other team and then it everything balances now you, you have a challenge they close that gap and then you have to now really be challenging the game's matchmaking is actually pretty darn good most of the time i'm not saying 100 percent it's not 100 like so it's it's balancing it you know it's actually pretty good um and don't worry about if you don't have the best or you know latest or most powerful someone in, in your team will have it maybe one or two you never know and you do if you do better with your uh, low level you know weapons it's actually better just like i'm, I'm saying i'm going out with my you know mid mid-level guns and i'm the you know first on the list i was saying hey look at me i kill all those people with my dinky gun man <laughs> that's more that is more satisfying than having a better gun and you know being at the top of the list because you had the better gun anyway who cares about your skills um I respect Warface and my dot games and fully support their business decision. Here I said it. I respect my dot games, which is you know owner developer at this point, Warface game. They are not stupid people, although some some of us think. They do own they do own the game. They do work on the game. They pay the developers their paychecks. They must know a thing or two. You know, have to run business. So if you, if you say, you know, my dot games game and then everything is broke, everything is bad. We're hated. We're leaving the game. All right. Um, in the past, before my dot games, the things were better for users for players. You can get everything almost free, you know, uh, using the uh, Warface dollars, using the, you know, crowns or whatever. You, you get all the good weapons and stuff. But the game pretty much stayed the same level. And then they didn't make enough revenue. Now, once you give something free, you have to get something back. Like a, it, just like you're doing, just like you're doing uh, in your uh, streaming channel. You have giveaways, you have free stuff, you know, all that. You, you have all the events and everybody comes and watch it, watches it. You don't, um, you don't need people to pay your, pay your channel to watch or whatever, get those, you know, goodies. But you expect from some people, those people afford, tip you or sub you, you know, for your, you know, uh, expenses. That's the same thing. If you give something free, you expect something back. But it wasn't going well because they were giving too much too many stuff free away there's no much revenue going on so they sold uh, to my dot uh, game and my dot game had a different business um view they enhanced the game user interface and all the events and all this stuff they enhanced the game in itself uh and then they actually also uh, enhance the revenue for, for for themselves when 
now they are asking for people to hey buy this for this credit this good people think hey what a greedy company what's so greedy about it you don't have to buy it nobody say you have to buy it's free game i am playing for free i know i bought a few things but i, I didn't spend thousands of dollars for the game i, I pay like a, if i can spend 10 or 20 dollars here and there not only for this game for other other games too um but it's it's a free game the company is not greedy the company makes wants to make money so they can pay other bills and they can continue the game that's why north america is closing because nobody plays nobody buys anything from north america not closing but you know what i mean not many people and they don't pay attention too much because there's a revenue coming from north america so the short story is i do support and i am with the company or face company you know the my dot games what i saw last two years what i what they did for the game is actually pretty good now not everything is perfect obviously there are some you know bugs there needs to be fixed all that stuff there are all that kind of stuff needs to be done uh which they are working on but they cannot pay attention to everything that you know complained every day it, it will be nuts I was a programmer too for 15 years. I was a software engineer. And I know the deadlines. I know the, uh, uh, what you call complaints about, you know, you can never, ever, 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 100% make every customer happy. That's impossible. You can sweet talk, you whatever, but they have, you know, limits. We have limits. You start a year, write a program, and then you, you have like a written list. You give the program. And then they say, I want to add this. I want to delete this. Say, this one's giving problem, blah, blah, blah. And then you have to work on all that issues back while you have a new items coming in. And customers don't care how you work, what do you do. They just want it. That's it. Because they pay. Even in your case, you're not paying anything, right? So I do understand their pain. I respect them. Almost all the game companies, by the way, I respect all of them, almost. Um, because they are trying hard, but not make, you know, it's impossible to make everyone happy. All right, what's uh, my last thing here? Having said that, I know some complaints are legit, and I'm sure devs are work looking into those and trying to fix. I'm talking about usual complaints going since years <laughs> if i if i have like a year one dollar every time i hear this game is dying since uh, three years ago i probably will be a lot of money right now uh, let me see what else is the last last line of my uh, things to say that's it that's all i want to say So, you're going to see me complaining. Well, actually, in the past, all those uh, streams are deleted now. I'm trying to calm myself down. Kind of being my own shrink, you know. Psychology doctor. Keep myself calm in the game because it's not the game. If I scream and yell and curse or whatever, that happens for every every game. Even if I play um, uh, Minesweep or Solitary, I go nuts. It's not the game most of the time. 99% of me. Me being not controlling my urge uh, <laughs> urge to merge. <laughs> urge to, uh, what you call, um, yell, complain. What's the word for it? Rage. Thank you. Thanks for reminding me. Urge to rage. So. I told you talking going to take some time. 36 minutes already. I'm going to put that as a clip somewhere else in YouTube and then share it. Either you um, agree or disagree, it doesn't matter. It's out there anyway. <laughs>